How we doing today, guys? Sam here at Anglers, and in front of me are a bunch of my favorite fall rockfish lures. Now, in preparation for our big customer appreciation event coming up on the 15th and 16th of October, um, I'm going to go into my top five lures here for the fall rockfish. So, starting out with some of the shallow water stuff we like to do um, in the fall months, they start to push into the rivers a lot more. You can also start to find them in the shallows, especially in the mornings and evenings, whether you're out on the main part of the bay, the center of the Magathy, stuff like that. Um, so, starting out with that kind of stuff, um, of course, everybody favorite is going to be top water probably the most fun way to catch rockfish here in the bay uh, there's a bunch of different top water lures out there you have poppers you have spooks um, this is my favorite here from Missouri uh, there's a couple of reasons I like it first off it's just a classic walking bait I can walk it really nice it's really super easy to walk but also it's got a big one knocker to it and you can hear that pretty far away from the boat and uh, a lot of times when you're deciding whether to fish a spook or a popper the decision is between how rough it is. So typically speaking, if it's a little bit rougher out there, you're gonna fish a popper. But on more calm days, you like to fish these. This is great in between because I have that big rattle. I can kind of get away with fishing it with a little bit of chop out there. So it's a really versatile one. So another one in the same conditions is that maybe the sun starts to peak up a little bit in the morning and the top water bite kind of dies off. This little twitch bait, it's, it's really, it's not a popular bait at all, but it's one of my favorites. It's here, it's the Title Pro from Tsunami. It's a really small uh, suspending kind of twitch bait that you fish. It's only a few inches under the surface, but it's, it's a great bait to fish in that transition time when you're leaving that morning top water bite progressing into the daytime. Another bait in that same category is a classic X-Wrap here from Rapala. Really great lures. If you haven't heard of them before, you really need to. These have been around for a long, long time. Um, this is the saltwater version here with the X-Wrap. It just gives you a little bit better stainless steel hooks, hold up a little bit better here in the bay. But I'm gonna fish it the same I would here. This is gonna go a little bit deeper, probably about four or so feet, um, especially with the line we're fishing. This is a great option too in that same category. Um, but pushing out towards the deeper water stuff we like to do, we have a lot of fish in the fall um, out on the main part of the bay. In those situations, I like to go with a little bit bigger bait. Um, and the reason for that is we start to get a little bit bigger uh, LY in the bay, which is, is what I'm trying to mimic. So I picked out a couple of here. These are more natural tones. And the reason for that is we have a lot of overcast days in the fall. And on those overcast days, I like to fish more natural baits. This is the fat boy here from Bustom in the seven inch size, uh, fishing that with anywhere from a half ounce to a one ounce jig, just kind of depending on what depth I'm in, stuff like that. That's a really great option probably my favorite fall bait if you're maybe in a little bit shallow water or you're just trying to uh, fish a paddle tail a little bit different approach out in the deeper water this five inch z-man here and that pearl is is a really great option too so just a little quick reminder for you for the 15th and 16th of October for their big event is these are all going to be 20% off and also a really cool deal with Rapala. You're going to get a buy one, get one free. So that's something you really just don't see that much. So those are my top five fall rockfish lures for you guys. And we look forward to seeing you on the 15th and 16th. Thanks guys.